What's up guys, Beastly Gamer here. Today I want to talk to you guys about Evolve. I've been playing Evolve since the day it came out. And um, I like it. I, I think the game is pretty fun. I, I take it for what I thought it was. When I played the beta, I actually liked the beta. I played as the monster, I played as some hunters, and I had some fun. And so, that's a really easy way for me to decide whether or not a game is going to be a day one purchase for me. I bought Destiny Day 1 because I really liked Destiny's beta. I played it. And I liked Evolve's beta. So I bought Evolve day one for $59, full price. And uh, I was, you know, in the back of my mind hoping there would be more story to it. That I would care more about the characters. Unfortunately, at this point, I really don't. It's basically what I thought it was in the beta and nothing else. You get 12 hunters, you get 3 monsters, and you're let loose. And you play a, a vicious game of hide-and-seek, basically. Now, uh, Turtle Rock Studios is under a lot of fire right now because they released different versions of the game for different prices. They got a $79 version, the digital, uh, I forget what it's called, I think it's like like a digital upgraded version that has a season pass. Now the season pass is normally $24.99, so you'd save five bucks by going ahead and getting this digital deluxe version. There's also a $100 version for PC. It's called the PC Elite Racer. It's a PC version of the game that you get the season pass you get an extra monster and you get three new hunters. Now, they also, on the day of release, released 44 additional DLC packs. 44 additional. Now, these 44 additional DLC packs are not included in the season pass. So, if you bought any of the season passes and you want this other DLC that you can actually go into the store and spend your real money on, you got to spend extra money in order to get that new DLC. Now, some of the DLC in these 44 uh, packs is actually included in the Season Pass. But if you want to get everything that you see in the DLC of this game, if you buy the Season Pass version of this game initially, you're still going to have to spend an extra $60. So if you bought the 79 version, the digital deluxe version, and then you play the game and you go into the, the store and you want to download all the DLC you don't have, you're still going to end up spending $140. That's how much you're going to spend. If you're on consoles, 140 bucks. You already spent 80. Now you got to spend 60 more to get all the DLC. And you're going to spend $190 if you're on PC and you want all the digital content that's not covered in your season pass. I think that's real messed up. Um, I think that, uh, you know, if this is allowed to persist, everybody's going to do it. And pretty much the only people who are going to lose are going to be gamers. You know, if you got that much DLC available day one, and you're only giving us three monsters and 12 hunters, but you got $130 worth of extra DLC on top of the season pass, you held something back. There's something that you could have done to sweeten the deal for the gamers. You know, I was a big, you know, proponent of talking shit about Titanfall. Titanfall only had online, you know, didn't have a story mode. I feel the same way about this game. I think the game is very fun, but I still feel like there isn't enough to warrant really a $60 per, uh, price just to keep it real. I, I'm not going to say it about Titanfall or say it about Destiny. That there's no story. And then when this game comes around, just because I like the way it feels, I'm, I'm not going to pretend. There's not enough content on this disc or on this download to warrant a $60 price tag, if you ask me. Now, if you were to ask me the perfect price for what you get, you get the maps, you get three monsters and 12 hunters. 40 bucks. I think $40 is reasonable. You don't get a really fleshed out story. You know, you just hunters going to save some people and you're killing these, uh, these monsters. Now, take into account that the monsters are extremely different. All the hunters are extremely different. So they did put a lot into it, but it just does not feel like a full fledged $60 game. Even though you can play offline, you don't need to be online all the time to play it. I think you have to sign in, so you just you might still have to be online in order to play. There's just not enough meat on the on the bone for me to say that the game is definitely worth sixty bucks. I guess it all depends on you. I paid it because I played it and I liked it. I know a lot of people probably didn't like it as much as I did, or or you know, given heavy deliberated thought on whether or not it's worth sixty bucks. If you got sixty dollars and you can only buy one game, I'd wait for a game that actually has more to offer. A game that uh, the studios isn't trying to pinch every penny out of you with. I think it's pretty jacked up. Uh, you know, all this extra DLC, none of it's being given away. And uh, from what I understand, Turtle Rock Studios is under a lot of fire from us, the gamers. You know, there's people on blogs, people on Twitter, and, and people not buying the game. 
you know, it's sitting at around a 50 Metacritic. It's like 45. You know, people are, are, are voting with their wallets and voting with their thoughts and not letting these, you know, these developers who are only after all the money in your pocket, uh, you know, take advantage. So you guys continue to speak out on it. Let me know what you think. Is this DLC acceptable? You know, is it all right to sell a game and on the day of release you got 44 DLC packs totaling $130? Is that all right? Is it okay to sell a game that's only online for $59.99 and it's only online multiplayer? You guys let me know in the comment section below. As always, thanks for all the support. If you guys are new to the channel, hit subscribe. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.